All right, boys, have a seat. We need to talk about our first Champions League match that we have today. So stick around as we dive deeper into it. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of the best team in London, which happens to be Chelsea. If you agree with that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now, in today's video, we're talking about Chelsea's first Champions League match against Dynamo. Now, this game is going to be played in Croatia. The boys have flown over and are already there. Thiago Silva did not make the trip, though, which means he will not be starting in this match, which means Thomas Tuchel will have to go with a different back three, which, again, I'm looking forward to just because, again, we all knew that Thiago Silva could not play every single match this season. I think Thomas Tuchel is looking at this match as more of an easier fixture, not that any match in the Champions League is ever an easy fixture, but of all our games we've had as of lately, I think this one should be a fairly easy one. Me saying that, watch us go out there and just completely blow this match. Hopefully that does not happen. But that being said, I'm really curious to see what Thomas Tuchel does with our squad. Now I'll get into that in just a second. The other big news is that Aubameyang is fit. He was fitted with a mask in which we all know when a Chelsea player wears a mask, he's going to score goals. And therefore, again, Aubameyang will be into the squad already which is fantastic because i wasn't too sure with the news with the broken jaw how long it would take for him to actually get into our squad and start producing goals which is why we bought this player because we've been lacking in the strike position so again i'm looking forward to seeing what this player can do now that being said let's talk about who thomas tuchel most likely will go with today's squad now like i mentioned there are a few changes to the squad and i'm really curious if thomas tuchel is trying to tinker a few things because as we've seen lately in the Premier League, we've been struggling. Yes, we did beat West Ham 2-1, but obviously we lost to Southampton before that. We got battered by Leeds before that. And so again, we are kind of on a roller coaster ride right now with this club. And I think Thomas Tuchel is trying to figure out what the best squad could possibly be. And this is a great match to tinker with everyone. Now, in between the sticks, this is where I already have a change. I don't think Mendy gets the start today. I think Keppa is going to be the starting goalkeeper today. Mendy has not been doing quite well as we've seen in our last couple matches. Seems like he's lost a little bit of confidence inside the box, especially on corner kicks. Yes, I know Kepa does have his flaws as well. Shots outside the box seem to be his one weak point, which teams already know that. So that could be a massive issue for any of our leading games going up to this. I'm not too sure, though. If he does start, though, I think we do have a better chance with him playing better than Mendy. But maybe Thomas Tuchel sees this as a great opportunity to Mendy to just have a rest, come back, and start playing the Premier League again. Now, after that, like I said, Thiago Silva did not fly with the team, so therefore we're going to have a different back three. I think Fofana gets his start as our center CB today with Koulibaly on to the right and Kukarelli on the left. I think these three players can do a phenomenal job for us right now. And again, I know it's kind of one of those different formations, but I think all three players are very good defensively and therefore, again, can situate or can handle any situation coming at them and therefore should be able to stop any attacks coming at their way. Now on the wing backs, this is where I'm going to put Chilwell. He definitely gets a start after that amazing performance against West Ham. He definitely needs more playing time. And yes, I know he's still getting back from that ACL injury, but after watching against West Ham, he deserves a start. And this is going to be a great game to get at least 60, if not a full 90 minutes into the match. And who knows what can go from here because He's definitely one of our best attacking wing backs. Yes, I know Cucurelli can also play in that position, but Chilwell just has a little bit more attacking style, but can also play defensively, not that Cucurelli cannot. But Ben Chilwell going forward is just the better option. Now on the right side, this is where I'm not too sure. Reese James may get some rest because, again, I don't think Thomas Tuchel wants to work him too much early in the season. So I think as Phil Coita gets our start as our right wing back now, I know we mentioned before that his legs just aren't the same, but I think this is a great game for him to get some minutes and play really well and also give, again, that defensive just a more cohesive looking like. Because, again, Asfil Koita, the appearances that he's had throughout the years, definitely has the intelligence to play as a great right wing back. And therefore, I think Thomas Tuchel can trust him in that position. In our midfield, I think Ruben Loftus Cheek gets to start again. He's been doing fairly well, along with Kovacic, who is playing in his hometown. So, again, both those players, I think, are very suited in our midfield. Up top, this is where it's going to be a little different again. But again, Thomas Tuchel needs to tinker around with Aubameyang because obviously Aubameyang will get the start today as our striker. I think Kai Havertz gets the start again. Yes, I know he came off the bench against West Ham, but after having a goal, I think Thomas Tuchel is going to see how well he does pairing with a striker and not being the only striker out there. I think Kai Havertz does a fairly good job when he has another pairing with him. So again, 
We're going to do a front three, but I think Kai Havertz and Aubameyang are going to ping off each other. And then I also think Pulisic is going to get the start again. Yes, I know things didn't go very well for him against West Ham, but I think he's going to get a start again. He needs some more playing time. Yes, he hasn't playing the way he should be, but again, more and more playing time should help this player get more and more confidence and help us out. I could see ZH getting a start, but I think Pulisic deserves a start in this match. So that is my prediction on the starting 11. I know it's a lot different, but again, I think this is a very good setup for Thomas Tuchel. My match prediction for the score coming from this then, I do see us scoring multiple goals in this game. I think Aubameyang opens up his account today for Chelsea, and I see us winning this actually fairly coolly. 3-0, I think we hold a clean sheet in this match, even if it's Kepa or Mendy. I think our defense will be rock solid, and therefore we'll get all three points in this match. And Thomas Tuchel will, again, have some tinkering around to do, but I'm looking forward to see what he brings to this team today and seeing how Chelsea do. So that is all I have for you today. I want to know what you guys think, so comment down below what you think of this starting 11 and who you think is going to win this match and what you think Thomas Tuchel needs to do different moving in the Premier League. So again, that is it. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you next time.